Yokai. No, not you specifically. Unless your name is Kai, in which case, I'm sorry, but this video isn't about you. We are diving in the mystical world of Japanese yokai, where the lines between myth, reality and legend blur in the most intriguing ways. Let's explore some of these incredible creatures and the stories behind them. Yokai, literally meaning strange apparition, are considered to be Japan's supernatural beings. Creatures and spirits that have roamed Japanese folklore for centuries. They come in all shapes and sizes, from sly tricksters to terrifying monsters, each with its own unique story and personality. They have been a part of Japanese culture for thousands of years, deeply rooted in Shinto beliefs and local myths. Originally, these stories were passed down through generations to explain the unexplainable. So why your broom might have moved at night, or why a river might suddenly change course. But what makes yokai so fascinating isn't just their ancient origins, it's how they've evolved over time. These creatures have found their way into modern media, influencing almost everything you know, like anime, video games and literature. And no matter how much time passes, yokai continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. So now that you know what yokai are, let's dive into the different types that roam the lands of Japan. Yokai come in a wide variety of forms, but usually they can be grouped into several categories. Each category reflects a different aspect of nature, society and the human experience. First up, we have animal spirits. Yokai that are often based on real animals but with supernatural abilities. For example, the kitsune or fox spirit is known for its shape-shifting abilities and its role as both a protector and trickster. Then there's the tanuki, a raccoon dog with a playful nature famous for its ability to change form and deceive humans. Next we have tsukumogami, everyday objects that come to life after serving for a hundred years. Imagine your old umbrella suddenly sprouting eyes in the mouth. These yokai remind us that even the most ordinary items can hold a touch of magic. It's a concept that blurs the line between the mundane and the supernatural. Then there are the human-like yokai, which can range from the terrifying to the tragic. Oni are fearsome demons often depicted with horns and wielding clubs, while yurei are spirits of the dead, resembling ghosts with long white robes and disheveled hair. These yokai often represent human fears, desires and the unknown. Finally, we have regional yokai, which are specific to certain areas of Japan. Tengu, the bird-like mountain spirits, are protectors of the mountains and skilled in martial arts. On the other hand, kappa are water-dwelling creatures known for their malicious and sometimes dangerous nature. These yokai are deeply connected to the landscapes and legends of the regions they inhabit. These are just a few of the many types of yokai that populate Japanese folklore. Each category offers a glimpse into the rich tapestry of stories that have been told for centuries. And guess what? We're just scratching the surface. There's so much more to explore in the world of yokai. Yokai aren't just random spooky stories, they're deeply woven into the fabric of Japanese culture. For centuries, these creatures have been used to explain natural phenomena, teach moral lessons, and even add a little magic to everyday life. Yokai have always had a presence in Japan's cultural landscape. But yokai aren't stuck in the past. They've leaped into the modern world, influencing almost every kind of media you could think of. If you've watched Spirited Away, you've already seen them in action. Remember the river spirit or the suit sprites? They're straight out of Japanese folklore. And let's not forget some of your favorite anime series. Ever noticed how many characters and creatures are based on yokai? Take Naruto for example. The nine-tailed fox, or Kurama, is inspired by the kitsune. Or how about something we all know and love, like Pokemon? It's quite literally a fantasy world with unique powers and personalities drawing heavily from yokai lore. I'm looking at you, Gengar. Gamers. They have also invaded our world. If you've played Neo or Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, you've definitely battled against yokai inspired enemies. The Tengu in Sekiro, for instance, it's quite literally based off of its real counterpart. Nezumi. So, why do yokai still resonate with us today? Maybe it's because they tap into universal themes fear of the unknown, curiosity of the supernatural, and the excitement of a good story. Whether you're exploring ancient legends or battling them in your favorite video game, these creatures remind us that the line between reality and imagination is often a little blurry. Have you ever encountered a yokai in your favorite game or anime? Drop a comment below and tell me which ones caught your attention. And if you're curious to learn more about these fascinating creatures, make sure to stick around. There's plenty more yokai. Kai magic to uncover here.
Now that we have explored the cultural impact of yokai, let's take a closer look at three of the most iconic and intriguing ones in Japanese folklore. These creatures have not only haunted and fascinated people for centuries, but have also become symbols of Japanese culture worldwide. First up is the kitsune, the mystical fox spirit. Kitsune are revered for their intelligence and magical abilities, especially their power to shapeshift into human form. Coincidentally, they can also look fucking hot. Often portrayed as tricksters, they can be both benevolent and mischievous sometimes helping humans while other times leading them astray. In some legends, they serve as messengers for the god Inari, further highlighting their divine nature. Fun fact, I actually went to Inari's head shrine in the My Journey to Japan series. Next, we have the Kappa, a water-dwelling yokai known for its playful and sometimes malevolent behavior. Kappa are often depicted as humanoid creatures with a dish-like depression on their head that holds water, which is the source of their power. They are notorious for causing trouble from playing pranks to even drowning unsuspecting victims. However, they are also known for their peculiar sense of honor. If you bow to a kappa, it may bow back, spilling the water and rendering it powerless. And last but not least, the Tengu, fearsome bird-like spirits that inhabit Japan's mountains and forests. Tengu are often depicted as protectors of the wilderness, skilled in martial arts and known for their mastery of the sword. They can be either helpful or harmful to humans depending on their mood. In some stories, Tengu are revered as wise teachers, while in others, they are feared as dangerous demons. Their distinctive red faces and long noses have become an iconic symbol in Japanese culture. These three yokai, the Kitsune, Kappa and Tengu, are more than just folklore creatures. They represent different aspects of Japanese culture and the human experience, from nature's mysteries to the moral lessons embedded in stories passed down through generations. Whether in ancient tales or modern media, they continue to captivate and inspire. You might be wondering now, why do yokai still hold such a significant place in Japanese culture and even beyond? What is it about these mystical creatures that just keeps them relevant in today's society? Like mentioned before, yokai are more than just spooky stories. They are cultural symbols that embody Japan's relationship with nature, spirituality and the unknown. They offer a way to explain the inexplicable, giving form to fears and hopes that transcend time. Whether it's the mischievous kitsune or the fearsome tengu, these creatures reflect the complexities of human nature and the real world. Even today, yokai influence everything from literature and art to everyday expressions and beliefs. In modern Japan, you'll find yokai themed festivals, toys and even food. They're a bridge between the ancient and the modern reminding us of our cultural roots while also adapting to contemporary life. Yokai stories often come with a moral, teaching lessons about respect, humility and the consequences of one's actions. For example, the story of the kappa teaches us about the dangers of playing near water, while kitsune tales remind us to be wary of deception. These lessons, though wrapped in fantastical tales, resonate with universal human values. But it's not just in Japan. Yokai have a universal appeal. Their stories of the supernatural, the mysterious and the unexplained resonate with people everywhere. Whether through anime, games or literature, these supernatural beings offer a unique lens to explore the unknown, sparking imagination and curiosity across cultures, uniting us all under a common interest. So in a world that's constantly changing, yokai remind us of the importance of storytelling, imagination and just a deep connection to your roots. They invite us to explore the mysteries of life, to question the unknown and to find meaning in the stories that we tell. Yokai still matter and they always will. So now that you've taken a glimpse into the world of yokai, I want to hear from you. Do you have a favorite yokai or a story that stuck with you? Should I make this into a regular series where I highlight a new yokai every so often? Or perhaps you know of a creature you would like me to research and highlight in a new video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you all. And if you've enjoyed this deep dive into the Japanese yokai, then please don't forget to subscribe to Takoyaki Boys so you don't miss out on future uploads. I know my upload schedule is kind of a mess right now, but I do really still like doing this. I promise. I just really have to find some interesting topics that just keep me going. Thank you so much for watching. And with that, sayonara.